after devising any after constructing any device we are supposed to test it and see if it is working fine or not so there can be some problems in the electronic devices so these problems are also called as hazards right so hazards are basically of two types one is temporary hazard which means you need not worry about them much they will correct themselves and other is permanent if there is a permanent hazard uh, it might not correct it so temporary hazards are like this i'll just take an example and explain you see this assume that there is a or gate there is an or gate and now the input given is like this right so this is a now uh, the for this one it will be a and for this one it will be a prime right then what will be the output output will be a plus a prime which is always one so whatever you give give at a output should always be one right which means uh, if i have the signal the output should always be at one right that is what it should be if it is zero and if it is one output should always be at one but what could happen is because of the uneven delays see this is a not gate and the signal if it has to pass through the not gate it is going to take some time right let us say the time taken for the signal to propagate from here to here is 1 nanosecond very very little time now uh, because of this 1 nanosecond there could be some problem here okay see what could happen initially assume that the value of uh, this one is 0 a is 0 therefore the value of this one is 0 right and the value of this one is 1 and now the signal is at 1 so assume that at some point of time the signal is 1 like this right and suddenly you change the value of one second let me write it again initially the value of this one a is 0 therefore the value of uh, you know this one is 0 or maybe we can take it as 1 initially the value of a is 1 and therefore the value of a is 1 and therefore this one is 0 and so output will be 1 so assume that input is you know output of the signal is going to be 1 like this and suddenly what you did is you change the value of a from 1 to 0 then what happens the 0 will immediately appear here right but then this 0 in order to pass through it and then convert to 1 it is going to take 1 nanosecond therefore in that 1 nanosecond for that 1 nanosecond the previous 0 for a prime is going to be there before it got it gets converted to uh, you know 1 so suddenly what happens is a and a prime both will take the value of 0 are you getting this before this a prime converts to 1 it is going to take 1 nanosecond because the signal has to propagate to this not gate so for that 1 nanosecond which means for the temporary amount of time small amount of time the signal is going to drop down to 0 for how much time 1 nanosecond and after that immediately this 0 will become 1 and obviously you are going to get 1 here anyway but then only for a small amount of time which is equal to the propagation delay of this gate we are going to get some hitch there right so now that is called as temporary hazard so we are we are not we need not do anything if you don't want any temporary hazard what you could do is maybe you can apply you know you could increase the delay here also by putting a delay gate so that these delays will match up and the signal will reach the other side at the same time without any hitch like this okay so now this one you need not worry about it it is going to correct itself the other one is permanent hazards permanent hazards will mainly occur because of either short circuiting or open circuiting open circuiting means a link will get broken and therefore it becomes always zero for example see this assume that is a circuit which is nothing but a AND gate right and it is input A and it is input B now output you know it should be A AND with B then sometimes there could be open circuiting which means this B could get broken so whatever you give at B either 0 or 1 it will always show as 0 therefore it will always show as 0 here right so that is an error so this error is permanent in the, re in the sense whatever you give as input always it will show as output as 0 right now we have to test every link every link to detect which one is open and which one is closed the same thing might happen for OR gate also right so what is the short circuiting is sometimes 
or gate will one of the input will always get one therefore whatever the you know input is applied here so suddenly what happens is let us say this is a and this is b and it got short circuited and suddenly it is getting a value of one and whatever you give it to a and b why will these things happen because we are we are producing this we are manufacturing these circuits in a, at a large scale and these are very small small devices therefore during the manufacturing maybe because of the hardware error the manufacturing error that this kind of errors could happen therefore before you sell your products you are supposed to test them right so in order to test all these uh, uh, you know uh, permanent errors we are supposed to test whether every uh, lead here every lead here is going to work or not so how do we test it is there is a procedure i'll just tell you now uh, it's simple okay i'll just tell you this see this i want to test whether it is struck at zero it is also called as struck at zero why because the output is going to be struck at zero because of this or here the input is always going to be zero it is called as struck at one which means whatever input you give it is always going to show one now whenever you want to test whether this one is going to you know this one is uh, uh, working or not we we'll, we shall use a method called as path sensitization path sensitization which means we are going to see that only this path is activated and all the other paths are not activated so how can i test this path is only if i make the output depend on this path alone then i can test that right then how can i test it activate all the other other inputs other than the one you wanted to test which means sorry inactivate all of them right so how can i inactivate it if i if i want output to be dependent only on b and if i have to inactivate a here you give one right then the output is simply b now you give one here right then if the output is not one if the output is zero then you can show you know that it is struck at zero the reason is when you are giving one here this got inactivated and now when you are giving one here it means you are enabling this line therefore output should be one but if output is zero definitely there is some problem here that is how we could find it out so i'll tell you the procedure how to find it out we shall design some circuits and then we shall see right so i'll i'll give you some notes and then procedure and then do some problems on this okay